Hi, I'm Aaron. Today I'm going to walk you through how to upgrade your Jeep Wrangler JK and add a lot of the cool new features that are found in the newer Jeep Wrangler JLs. We're going to be installing the Stinger Heighten 10-inch multimedia infotainment system. And with that, we're going to be adding two USB ports, Bluetooth for calls and streaming, Android Auto and CarPlay. And on top of that, one thing we have over Jeep, we're going to be adding a 10-inch HD touchscreen display. Now the kit we're installing today is designed to provide a flush mount install of the Heighton, which means it includes plastics that take the Jeep dash and extend it up to the Heighton, making it look like it rolled off the factory floor with the 10-inch screen installed. So come with me as I show you this awesome kit and how easy it is to upgrade your Jeep Wrangler and add a ton of awesome features by integrating the Heighton. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we'll need. Ratchet with extension, 7mm socket, plastic pry tool, dash snake, snips, Phillips head screwdriver, pick tool, and zip ties. We're going to begin our installation by removing a few plastic panels that are covering some 7mm bolts. Just grab and insert your pry tool, move the little red locking tab on the side, and you can then disconnect the connector. So now grab the rubber liner in the upper tray and lift it out. That gives us access to this 7mm bolt. Now using a 7mm socket, remove the bolt behind the window control switch. Now we're going to unclip the knee bolster and lower the plastic out of the way so we can access the two 7mm bolts located right below the gauge cluster. For this next step, we're going to be removing this entire large piece of plastic. So to make it easier, go ahead and lower the steering wheel to the lowest position. Reach in where you had the window switch installed before and pull toward the back of the Jeep. Now we're ready to remove the factory radio. So grab your 7 mil and remove the four bolts holding the radio into the dash. Now we can slide the radio out of the dash and disconnect the harnesses. We have one more piece of the Jeep to uninstall before we head over to the bench and assemble our kit. We're going to remove the climate control panel so that we can take this cigarette lighter plug out and install our dual USB ports, which will be used for thumb drive playback and Android Auto and CarPlay. This panel is just held in with some clips, so reaching behind the climate controls and pulling them forward will release the clips. You can see it start to flex. Just give it a good pull and it's going to pop out of the dash. Now we can disconnect the connectors behind the panel. Well, that's it for vehicle disassembly. Now let's head to the bench and start assembling our kit. Now we're ready to mount our heightened display into our dash plastics. It is a two-piece assembly, so remove the front trimming and set it aside. Grab the heightened display and set it face down on a nice soft cloth. These two connectors are gonna poke through this square. We're gonna install four mounting screws here and here. Now we have four screws securing the display into the bracket. Now we're gonna take the four silver screws and partially install them so that they're ready to mount to the dash bracket inside the Jeep. With the display mounted to the bracket and the four set screws partially installed but not intruding the center area, we're done with this piece for now so we can set it aside. Now we're ready to attach the mounting brackets to the height and brain. So grab this small bracket, notice that it says front, that has an arrow pointing to what's gonna be the front of the Jeep. Set that on top of the height and brain, and we're gonna install two mounting screws. One does go through this label. Now grab the larger mounting brackets. Those are gonna go on the side of the height and brain. Align the bracket and install the two screws here and here. Then just repeat the process on the other side with the other bracket. Now this piece is ready to go back into the Jeep once we connect all the harnesses. So we're gonna set that aside and now we'll remove the factory cigarette lighter and install our dual USB port. Now using a pick tool, we can open up the factory cigarette lighter port and there's two black tabs inside there that we need to push with the pick tool to release the plastic. So using your thumb to push on the back of the metal to press the plastic tabs and remove the cigarette lighter outlet. Sometimes you only have to push on one. Got lucky today. We're gonna take that out and then remove the plastic. Little locking tabs here you can push with your pick tool. That piece ran away, but we don't need it anyway. We're gonna install some way more useful dual USB ports. So take your cables and route those through the opening. Now take and install the two locking rings, one at a time. Thread those onto the back of the panel, locking the dual USB port into place. Just checking to make sure the USB outlets are horizontal and that the door is in the right spot. We're gonna spin the locking ring into position and then install the second ring. And that's it for our bench preparation. Now we can head back to the Jeep and start our installation. The Heighton does feature a microphone built right into the display. 
and the kit also includes an optional external microphone. So you can mount this up here in the A pillar and run it down to the radio. And you can switch between the menu to switch between the internal and external microphone to see which one works best for you. If you're installing the optional external microphone, grab one of the three brackets, snap it into place, and then begin mounting your microphone on the A pillar, routing down through the dash. Now that we've routed the microphone cable down the A pillar, we're gonna remove this small sail panel so that we can route the cable through the dash. We can reach inside the dash and push on the clips on the back of the panel. Now route the microphone cable through the dash. And then we can reinstall the sail panel now that we have the microphone cable ran. Now we're just gonna take our excess microphone cable, zigzag back and forth and install a few zip ties to keep it nice and tidy inside the dash. Then we can tuck the excess inside the dash. Be sure to leave the connector out so we can plug it into the back of the Hyten. Right, right. Moving right along then, eh? Now we're ready to mount the GPS antenna in the dash of our Jeep. We're gonna mount it right here by the factory GPS location. It does come with a metal plate, so remove the backing on the metal plate and stick it to the factory location. That gives our antenna a nice solid place to magnetize to. So take the end of our GPS cable and pass it through the dash. Pull all the slack through. Place the antenna on top of the metal plate. Now we'll take the excess GPS cable and make a large loop. Once we have the antenna cable in a loop, we're gonna twist it into a figure eight and then fold it back on top of itself. So now we have as many winds going clockwise as we do going counterclockwise. This will counteract any electric fields, not interfering with our GPS signal. We'll clip these off and we can stuff this inside the dash. Now we're ready to reinstall our climate control panel with our newly added dual USB ports. So we're gonna route these cables up behind this piece of plastic to where the height is gonna sit, up inside the dash, up behind the brackets, out through the opening where all of our other connectors are. We can reconnect the factory connectors and snap this back into the dash of the Jeep. Now we're moving on to one of my favorite parts of the installation because this kit is completely plug and play. So we've got a plug and play T-harness here, plugs directly into the Jeep wiring, plugs directly into our Hyten. There's two different plugs here for amplified and non-amplified. So if your Jeep has a subwoofer, plug into the amplified port. If you're non-amplified like this Jeep, we're gonna plug into the non-amplified port. We're gonna plug directly into the factory wiring. Nice little reassuring click. And now we have our connections for our radio replacement module. On the end of the module, there's a piece of tape. We just remove that so that we can plug in our connector. Before we plug it into the vehicle harness, the only programming we have to do on this module is to ensure that our switch is set to position number four. If it hasn't been set to number four, now grab a small screwdriver or a knife, set it to position number four, and then we can plug it into the vehicle harness. On the other side of the module is a four pin plug. This is for your steering wheel controls. We have a plug in here that says speed sense. So we're gonna grab our other harness that has the speed sense wire, and we're just gonna plug these two together. We'll take our antenna adapter and connect that to the factory antenna. We're gonna plug into this white connector, not the yellow one. Because we installed our external microphone, we need to get the connector for it. This harness has two connectors. The black one is labeled mic. Plug it in until it snaps. The Hyten does have four camera inputs and we installed a reverse camera on this Jeep already. So we're gonna plug the reverse camera feed into this harness with the long yellow video cable. Our harness also has these red and black leads, which are switched accessory power. This is for powering your aftermarket camera. Now we can grab our Hyten and start to plug in our harnesses. We have our camera input harness with speed sense wire here. Our microphone input harness. This is our steering wheel control wire, main power harness, reverse camera input and video and RCA output, the GPS antenna. Make sure we connect our dual USB ports. AM FM antenna adapter. Before we slide the Hyten into the dash, we need to connect these two cables, which are our LVDS power and connection cables. Now we can tuck everything inside the dash and put the module inside the dash and install the four seven millimeter bolts.
Now that we have the Height and Brain secured into the dash, we can go ahead and get our factory dash plastic and reinstall it before we snap the Height and Display into place. Carefully slide this back into position. Make sure that the two cables come out through the opening. Now we can connect the Height and Display and mount it to the dash using the four screws we installed partially in the kit earlier. It's not floating up here magically. There. It's not magically <laughs> floating up like the dash did. I'll go grab it. All right, we're just about ready to attach the height and display to the dash of our Wrangler. Now, the way our kit's designed, there's some pretty serious plastic clips back here that are designed to engage on the dash of the Wrangler. It can be removed, but it's designed to stay on there. So we're gonna do a quick functionality test by hooking in these two cables, make sure everything works before we attach the display to the Wrangler. All right, the height and turned on. We verified that the steering wheel controls function. We've shifted the Jeep into reverse and verified that the reverse camera is showing on our screen. So now we can turn the Jeep off and go ahead and install the display. Now we can take some blue or green painter's tape and apply a piece down here below the radio opening so we don't scratch the dash while we slide the kit into place. With a piece of painter's tape here below the radio opening to protect the dash, we go ahead and line the height and display up with the radio opening just above the air vents. And it's a bit of a technique where it slides into the dash and up. So we're gonna push onto the front of the height and slide up. Ta-da! That's all it takes to mount the display. Now we can remove this tape and we'll go ahead and install the screws the rest of the way. Grab the trim ring that goes around to the front of the kit, hook the top edge in first, and then snap the sides in as we work our way down around the outside. Now we can reinstall the seven millimeter bolt and the window switch. And now we're gonna clip in our window control switch. Now we can reinstall the seven millimeter bolt on the top of the dash and reinstall this rubber pocket. And then finally, the two seven millimeter bolts go into the top of the knee bolster. Well, that's all it takes. The plug and play harness and the thoughtful engineering makes it super easy to install a heightened flush mount in your Jeep Wrangler JK. Be sure to check out the feature video where we show how useful the heightened is with the four camera inputs. We install some blind spot cameras and a front camera on our Wrangler JK. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our website for more videos.